they saw their loved one who works as a local attorney. Family members and friends are looking for a Des Moines attorney who hasn't been seen since he made an ATM withdrawal at this drug town yesterday morning. I'm Cal Woods and I'll have that story. Des Moines welcomes its ninth major airline with more daily nonstop flights to Newark and Houston. I'm Susie Robinette. I'll have that story up next. And President Bush came to Iowa on tax day to talk about tax cuts. Plus, Brian Burchett lets you know how warm it was today in your town. I'm Tiffany O'Donnell. Fox 17 News at 9 starts now. You're set on Fox 17, KDSM, Des Moines. This is Fox 17 News at 9. Kurt Peterson's family is searching for him and searching for answers about what could have happened to the local man who's been missing since Sunday. Good evening. Des Moines attorney Kurt Peterson has been missing nearly 36 hours now. Friends mobilized a campaign to help find him while his wife and two young daughters wait and hope for his safe return. Fox 17's Cal Woods has the story first on Fox. Cal, family and friends say little about Peterson's disappearance makes any sense. Yeah, that's right, Tiffany. Things were apparently going well at home and at the office. His 94 Saturn that he was driving isn't usually the kind of car that a carjacker might want to steal. Kurt Peterson didn't have a lot of money on him, so friends and family members have intensified the search. Friends of the Peterson family have been all over town, hanging missing person posters and hoping someone saw something that might suggest what happened to Kurt Steven Peterson missing since Sunday morning. He would not just take off and go on a whim. He, we talked every day on the telephone. If he went to the Drake Law Library, he would call me and let me know that his phone would be turned off and I wouldn't be able to reach him. He would not just go. Something has happened. Somebody has him. He's, he would be here if he could. Family members say the 38-year-old attorney left a note. He was going into work at his West Des Moines office Sunday morning. Someone used his ATM card at the University Avenue drug town at 42nd Street at 10.09 a.m. A colleague says they have no evidence Kurt ever showed up at the office. Kurt is a, a very good lawyer, very professional, a family man, very unassuming. Uh, it would be wholly out of character uh, for this to be intentional on his part. Our fear is that the last place that he was seen um, was, is with, with drawing cash at the ATM machine, and we're just uh, very afraid that something happened between that ATM machine and his car. His car is missing as well. His car is missing as well. Family members have driven in from out of town. His parents are on the way from Arkansas, while friends provide support and get out the word. We're asking for the public's help. At this point, um, we need all the information that we can get, and uh, I guess just keep them into your prayers as, the, as our family and friends will keep up the search. Okay. And Kurt Peterson is 5'11", 160 pounds with gray hair and blue eyes. His missing car is a 94 red Saturn two-door license plate number 224 ELT. If you have any information, Des Moines Police would like to hear from you. Tiffany. Cal, we know that Kurt Peterson is a trial attorney. Any angry or upset clients or even opponents? Well, he works on civil rather than criminal cases. His colleague Thomas Cunningham says there was nothing that he was aware of professionally that might lead to anything like this. All right. Fox 17's Cal Woods. Thanks very much, Cal. You bet. Starting in July, a new airline will begin flying into Des Moines. Continental Airlines made the announcement today saying that Des Moines is an important city for that airline to serve. Fox 17's Susie Rabinette has the story. Beginning in July, it's going to be much easier to buy an airplane ticket to fly from Des Moines to Houston and Newark as the Des Moines Airport announces its ninth major airline. According to Continental, plans have been in the works for quite some time to begin flying these express jets into Des Moines. We're starting service, new non-stop service, to both New York and to Houston. And in fact, we're going to have two non-stops a day to New York and two non-stops a day to Houston, which will provide literally eight flights a day in and out of Des Moines. Hilfman pointed to a strong business community as one of the reasons Continental chose Des Moines. Senator Charles Grassley, who helped lure the airline, said it's a coup for Iowans. This is a real victory for central Iowans because by opening up two daily round-trip flights to Newark and to Houston, Continental Express will provide travelers with more options, faster service, and greater access to key national and international business markets. 
Hilfman did acknowledge, however, that business has been tough for all the airlines since the September 11th attack. We got to go on. The business needs to get done. It's a global economy. Economy. Uh, we need to be in important cities around the world, and Des Moines is one of those cities. Continental plans to hire about 20 full and part-time employees in Des Moines. Susie Robinette, Fox 17 News at 9. A service begins July 8th, but they tell us you can now buy tickets. Iowa is in for another round of tobacco settlement money. Attorney General Tom Miller says Iowa will receive another $46 million. Ten of that will go to a program to prevent tobacco use as well as for substance abuse treatment and health care. Iowa has received more than $186 million from the tobacco settlement in the last two years. Natural resource officials say Iowa is better prepared to deal with nearly 3 million scrap tires generated in the state each year. The Environmental Protection Commission today approved new rules to regulate tire disposal and reduce the risk of tire fires. The state recently completed the cleanup of more than 10 million scrap tires. And the DNR says the rules will limit such future accumulations and help firefighters. Have uh, wider fire lanes within each tire, within the t between the tire piles. Also to have greater setback distances from uh, neighboring properties, property lines. So if there, if there was a fire, there would be a, a, we'd be in a better shape to contain it from spreading. There are limited markets for scrap tire rubber, and the rules will ensure that haulers have the means to dispose of the tires. President Bush visited Iowa today to talk about tax cuts on, of course, tax day. Mr. Bush told hundreds of General Mills employees in Cedar Rapids that he wanted to make those tax cuts permanent. And as Fox 17's Kevin Carrizza reports, the president also emphasized America's determination to fight terrorism. Cedar Rapids residents are singled out by the president. That's where you. There he is, right behind me, Big John. But John Madsen, his wife Angelina, and children Christopher and Amy, seated behind the president, received a special invitation. We were all asked if we'd sit down with the president and talk about what the tax relief had done for our families individually. He spoke uh, about owning a home and how the tax relief helped him do that. That roundtable discussion was held just before the president gave his speech to General Mills employees and other supporters. He's real down to earth and a, a genuine uh, nice guy. He was real genuine. He wanted to know everything that we were concerned about. Tax relief was one of several themes hit upon by the president. We basically said if you pay taxes, you get relief. Including the need to bring terrorists to justice. And I can assure you it doesn't matter whether you're a Republican, or whether you're a Democrat, or whether you don't even give a darn about political parties. This country is united when it comes to defending the freedoms we hold dear. Not very many people get the President of the United States as an audience, and this has been a day that several families here at General Mills will never forget. Thank you all. It was just unimaginable. Unbelievable. <laughs> With the President in Cedar Rapids, Kevin Carrizzo, Fox 17 News at 9. President Bush also talked about the need for an energy plan. Mr. Bush wants the U.S. to become less dependent on foreign sources of energy. He wants to focus on renewable sources of energy, like ethanol. The president also came to Iowa to raise money for U.S. Senate candidate Greg Gansky. All roads lead to the post office, or at least it seems that way today and tonight. April 15th means it's time to get those tax returns in the mail. There was a steady flow of traffic at the downtown post office, all those last-minute tax returns getting postmarked today. In case you haven't done so, you have until midnight, thank goodness, to get your federal tax returns in the mail. For state returns, you have until April 30th. Thank goodness. Got one in about 4.55 today. I was going to say, that sounds like a true procrastinator <laughs> speaking. Exactly. <laughs> Open till midnight, though. Well, you, you still should, got a couple hours. You should have used it as an excuse to get away from work for a couple hours <laughs> and uh, enjoy the warm weather because it's ridiculous today. You know, uh, two weeks ago we were talking about snow. Today, look at all these record highs. They were falling left and right. Carol takes the cake with a record high of 93 degrees. It's still 78 in Des Moines and Ames, and overnight we'll only be falling off to the low 60s. Back into the mid-80s tomorrow afternoon, but a chance for some strong storms tomorrow night. Of all those details and more coming up in weather. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Tricky negotiations to end the killing in the Middle East has forced U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell to bob and weave like a boxer. The latest from Secretary Powell's visit to the Mideast tops our Fox World Wrap tonight. Mr. Powell went to Damascus to discuss ways to end the terror with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Secretary Powell wants Syria and Lebanon to be part of a regional peace conference to pressure on Hezbollah guerrillas to stop their attacks in northern Israel. 
flame shot up from the middle of a field after a pipeline exploded in Canada. Police in Brookdale, Manitoba blocked off roads to keep gawkers from getting hurt. Officers evacuated 100 people from their homes. Investigators aren't sure why the natural gas pipeline exploded. A special memorial brought together in Washington, D.C. Those who know what it was like to serve in the Vietnam War. They honored 54 veterans who died during the Vietnam War, but the dead were not eligible to have their names on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. The ceremony was part of the fourth annual In Memory Day. Some students in Florida saw an alligator slither onto their school playground. Then they got to watch from behind a fence a person trained to handle alligators catch the animal with a stick. It twisted and spun trying to get out of the noose. You see it there. Wow. The alligator tried to head back to a nearby canal where he was swimming. As you grow older, you may worry your skin is starting to look more like an alligator. Well, coming up on Fox 17 News at 9, hear how you can pick your poison to choose smoother skin. And later in the Fox Family Health Report, the career path and the baby track are on a collision course. Now, an author gets heat for revealing the cold, hard facts about fertility. This is Fox 17 News at 9. With Tiffany O'Donnell, Susie Robinette, and Cal Woods. Central Iowa weather with meteorologist Dave Town. And sports with Andy Garman. Fox 17 News at 9. It's about time. Your time. The gold standard turns platinum. The New York Times. Hands down, the car of the year, the Detroit News. The interior is near perfect. Business week. Hey, who are you calling near perfect? The 2002 Camry. More than likely, you have one room of furniture that could use a little updating. Spend a little time with the Rec Room Plus, and we'll show you why our quality Montana, Dynair, and Richardson Brothers solid wood furniture will outlast anything you've ever owned. Furniture this good will never go out of style. So put your new solid oak furniture in any room in your home. You'll remember what room it came from. It's about fun and games, the Rec Room Plus. Some people ask, why does a farmer care about electricity? You got a few hundred cows to milk, comes in real handy. Then there's separation and refrigeration and everything else. Our electric co-op helps us manage the power usage. Gives us something to depend on. So we're, so we're up and running long before breakfast. And it's good knowing that we have the power. And we shine as one. Hi there. New in town? We just moved here. Well, welcome to hy V. My name's Red. Let me show you around. Now just look for me on these price decline signs and save big money. And these advertised signs show big savings on our weekly specials. I work really hard to save you money. I think that we're going to like it here. hy V price decline. Saving you more throughout the store. Join maestro Joseph Genta and the Des Moines Symphony for Celestial Rhythm as thrilling young violinist Corey Chirovsek performs Beethoven's brilliant violin concerto. Enjoy Brahms' glorious symphony number no. four and the voices of Spring Waltz by Strauss. Call 243-1888 to reserve your seats as the symphony presents Celestial Rhythm Saturday, April 20th and Sunday, April 21st at the Civic Center of Greater Des Moines. It's not only is it warm, hey, nice, it's spring, but yeah. we're, we're at air conditioning level. We're now. at record level some and, places. And I felt bad. I didn't want to turn it on in the car. I know. It, it feels like cheating. It's April for crying out loud. I did it. I cheated. Yeah. Whatever. Well, it was an amazing day to do anything outdoors. You about had to be outdoors to stay cool and get some of the breeze. So these folks taking advantage, doing a little fishing. Stuck a nice bluegill there. Or something or another. <laughs> But uh, look at these uh, temperatures from the day today. Uh, absolutely amazing. I showed these to you earlier, but I'll give you a chance to really look down the list. Ottumwa made it to 89 degrees today. Mason City, which is usually the ice box of the state, and I can say that because I lived there for a while, 
91 today, breaking the record by 11 degrees, and a lot of us breaking records that stood for 106 years, that until today. 87, the record high for Des Moines today after a warm start to the morning at 59. It looks like we'll be back into the 80s for tomorrow. We've only fallen off to 78 right now. Dew point still at 59. It is muggy out there, but there is enough of a breeze, hopefully, to keep it cool if you throw open the windows tonight. At 78 in Ames, 79, Fort Dodge, Waterloo, 76, Ottumwa, Lamoni, and still 79 in Clarinda. Those wind gusts out of the south to southwest are still pretty significant, despite the fact that the sun has gone down 22 miles an hour now in Des Moines, 32 miles an hour in Omaha. Here's the setup. We have low pressure to our north and a second area of low pressure that's developing back to our west. This is going to work its way in our direction. We'll continue to see the warm air pool out ahead of that, but also see a cold front move through and give us a chance for some storms. Right now, that big bubble of warm air is camped out around uh, central Iowa and back to the northwest. Tomorrow, highs back into the 80s, and then things start to change tomorrow evening. That low is going to slide back to our north, a cold front advancing from the west, thunderstorms developing ahead of that, some of which may be strong to severe, or we are under a slight risk for severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Moderate risk back to our north and west, including northwest portions of Iowa, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But your Fox forecast tonight, uh, temperatures dropping off into the low 60s. Tomorrow back into the mid-80s, and then later on tomorrow evening, we see those thunderstorms move through, temperatures dropping off into the low 50s. Your Foxcast over the next five days has a little bit of a roller coaster ride before we really cool off heading into the weekend. Uh, it does look like uh, we'll see another shot of rain late Thursday and into Friday, but highs by Saturday, only 55, lows down in the 30s. So you want to enjoy wow. this little taste of summer while it's here. Another 30 degree difference coming up. No kidding. Okay, thanks a lot, Ryan. A way to erase any signs of worry from your face is coming up on Fox 17 News at 9. See how a shot can smooth things over and making headlines by getting rid of lines on your head. Also just ahead, the backlash over a book that says women who wait to start a family may not be able to beat the biological clock. Fox 17 weather is brought to you by a general store and more. Ever been ready to go furniture shopping? Then get bombarded by all those choices. Too many styles, too many fabrics, too little time. Now there's a not-so-scary way to transform your home with your own personal style. This collection is timeless, coordinated, and completely mix and match. Foolproof furnishings made by Flex Steel so they'll last, and designed by Christopher Lowell so they're very chic. Texture, color, function, and style. You really can do it all. A general store and more. A general store and more. Fox Tuesday, the series that has taken millions of viewers on an unforgettable ride, is pulling out all the stops. I need to know who that prisoner is. With its most thrilling twist yet. It's impossible. Luke Diamond Phillips and Dennis Hopper join the cast of 24. Get out! Tuesday on Fox 17. Homer and Ned gamble on a pair of new wives. Till death do us part. I'm working on that. The Simpsons. Tonight after Fox 17 News at 9. Regular, big, or tall. Work, casual, or fun. Visit G&L Clothing. Carhartt casual wear is easy to find because G&L Clothing carries the absolute largest selection. Carhartt short sleeve shirts, Carhartt shorts and dungarees in a variety of sizes, colors, and styles. Carhartt denim jeans in relaxed or traditional fit. Visit G&L Clothing, 18th and Ingersoll, Des Moines. G&L Clothing. Feeling a little overwhelmed? Can't figure out the yard bag game? Well, here's a hint. Compost it. I said compost it. It's easy, and it's more manageable than ever. Use new compost it bags from Metro Waste Authority for your yard waste. And use no stickers. What about leftover bags from last year? Sure, and still no stickers. Use compost it stickers for bundles too large for the bags, or on store brand bags. So compost it this fall. It's your yard waste recycling choice. And hey, it's the program for all cities. Now that makes sense. High air conditioning costs got you down? Remember those high heating bills from last winter? Help cut your energy bills by letting Citation Building Supply install energy-efficient replacement windows and doors on your home. Citation Building Supply has been serving builders and homeowners throughout the Des Moines area for over 15 years. We give free estimates and have a large selection of window and door options to suit your individual needs, including locally built custom storm doors and storm windows. So for an energy-efficient winter, give Citation Building Supply a call today and see what we can do for you. Citation Building Supply, your door and window specialists. In tonight's Fox Family Health Report, a new drug won't erase your worry, but it can erase your worry lines. 
The FDA gave approval today to use Botox to treat those vertical lines between your brows. The botulism toxin in tiny doses can temporarily block nerve impulses to muscles, paralyzing the muscle. If you can't furrow your brow, you can't wrinkle it. Plastic surgeons have been using the treatment for years. FDA approval allows the drug maker to advertise its cosmetic use. A recently published book says young women who choose to put off motherhood to pursue their careers may assume fertility doctors can help them have babies later in life, but fertility experts say drugs don't often do the trick. As Elizabeth Cohen reports, critics claim the book is scaring women. <laughs> this mom knew that if she wanted to have a baby easily without fertility treatments, she shouldn't wait too long. And so she didn't. Nine-month-old Rogelio was born when Alyssa Lupo Zulueta was 31 years old. An actress, she didn't let her career get in the way of having children, and she says her friends are the same way. They don't want to wait till they're 40. Uh, they know that there are risks. You know, there are higher risks once you hit the age of 35, 36, 37. But the media buzz around the new book says the opposite. The author says her research shows that the vast majority of high-achieving women in their 20s and 30s are ignorant about infertility statistics and so embrace briefcases instead of babies, assuming fertility clinics can always bail them out later on. Part of the problem is that uh, they focus like a laser beam, you know, on their career for 10 years. Carol Rivers, who writes on women's issues, hasn't read the book but has seen the coverage and calls Hewlett's message toxic for women. The message is coming across on the media is clearly watch out women if you're ambitious, if you don't get married and have kids right away, you're going to be miserable the rest of your life. Melissa Ludke agrees. The author of a book on motherhood, she was 46 years old when she adopted Maya. She's read Hewlett's book and says if she'd listened to Hewlett's advice, she'd be miserable today. I was married at just about the age that Sylvia Hewlett would suggest one be married, and that was in my late 20s. Uh, I got married at the age of 27. Had I followed her prescription and had a child simply because I was fearful, it would have been the, one of the worst mistakes I could have made because that marriage was not a solid marriage. It was not a good one, and in fact, four years later, it ended. Lucky still wanted children, but couldn't find a man to have them with her, so she did it on her own. <laughs> this is the best time in my life to give what I have to give as a mother. Hey, wait. <laughs> really? And that's how Alyssa Lupo Zulueta feels that no book can give orders, that for each woman the timing is different. And that's what she told a frantic young woman who asked her recently, when's the best time to have a baby? Her voice was getting higher and higher and she started talking faster and faster and I just told her, you know what? Relax. It, when the time's right, you'll know it. Elizabeth Cohen, CNN Atlanta. Some of the fastest feet on the planet took some quick steps on the streets of Boston today. Coming up next in Fox Sports, Andy Garman focuses on those who were first to set foot across the finish line. But first, your Fox stocks. Ryan Miller owns a Hyundai Sonata. We did a ton of research on the internet. Things that you normally would pay extra for came standard. An exceptional list of standard features and room for five. Very stylish looking, very roomy on the inside. The Sonata also comes with the freedom of America's best warranty. We just felt for our money, the Sonata was the best value. The Hyundai Sonata at just $16,494. It's a lot more car. Freedom is calling, yeah. The Hyundai Sonata at $16,494. Your test drive is waiting.
72 degrees, we make sure you're comfortable in your home, so you're able to kick back, relax, and enjoy the time spent inside. Add a Dave Lennox Signature Collection System to your home and receive up to a $1,000 rebate. You can take your Can you count on Scotty's Body Shop? It's about trust and a commitment to excellence unparalleled by any body shop in Iowa. Scotty's repair specialists go the extra mile for you with quality workmanship, accurate computer estimates, and knowledgeable help in filing your insurance claim. When you've been in an accident, remember, it's your decision to have your vehicle repaired at the body shop of your choice. It's your choice. So what better can there be than a lifetime guarantee? So come to Scotty's Body Shop where we take care of you, not just your car. Again, just to remind you how out of shape you really are, look at the Boston Marathoners. You know, 26.2 uh -huh. miles, and I thought, wow, I might be able to run 26.2 feet. Exactly. That's about all the further I'd make it. You know, oh, I tell you, they're in great shape. That's right. Not me, though. So, today is tax day, which may not be on the highest part of your list of enjoyable holidays. That's understandable, but it's also, also worth noticing that today's Patriots Day, a holiday in the city of Boston, that means two things for sports fans. The Red Sox will play a morning game in the annual endurance test known as the Boston Marathon will be run. Neither Tiffany O'Donnell nor myself in the field for this one, thankfully. Rogers Rob, your winner, he crosses the finish line on the male side, two hours, nine minutes, and two seconds. On the women's side, Margaret Okayo set a course record by more than a minute when she crossed the finish line at two hours, 20 minutes, and 43 seconds. Both of your winners are from the nation of Kenya. Let's get to that morning baseball. The Red Sox and Yankees from Fenway Park. Bottom one, Nomar Garcia Parra smokes the double off the monster. Ricky B. Ricky Henderson come on down from second base. One nothing Sox with the lead. Sox up two to one. Derek Lowe, no problem. Strikes out the side to end the inning. Sox hold on to knock off the Yanks final score, four to three. If the White Sox can finally get their bats going, they're going to challenge for the AL Central, excuse me, and they got those bats going today. Ray Durham. Single to left, it scores two runs, three zip socks with the lead, base is loaded again, just two batters later, Carlos Lee rips one down the left field line, six to nothing socks, they cruise, final score, 13 to four from Comiskey, your scores from today, Seattle leading Texas, nine to seven, that one in the seventh, let's move over to the senior circuit, Cubs ahead of Montreal, six to three, Sammy Sosa, another home run in this game, Atlanta and Montreal tied up in the ninth at six apiece. Pittsburgh leads Milwaukee in the seventh, three to one. L.A. over Colorado, five to one in the fourth. St. Louis and Arizona both got one run on the board in the second. They are scoreless in San Diego between the Giants and the Padres. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And then in minor league baseball, I Cubs no problem getting a split against Calgary, 13 to six. Their bats have woke up too. All right, thanks so much, Andy. Mm -hmm. We know the U.S. Supreme Court does not take on flimsy cases. Coming up on Fox 17, hear how flimsy clothing at the center of a case the nation's highest court has agreed to take a look at. The best just got better at Homemakers. For a limited time, Lazy Boy 2 for 1 recliner sale. Buy two great recliners for, for one, one low, low price. price. The selection and savings have never been better. Prices as low as two for $3.99. Choose from many styles and colors. Buy two Lazy Boy recliners for one low price. Remember, if you don't purchase your Lazy Boy recliner from Homemakers, you'll, you'll pay, pay too much. much. Homemakers, the place to save. 
Bentley Buick Des Moines continues to sweeten the pot for those still thinking about buying a new Buick. $2,002 cash back. This in addition to low financing and huge dealer discounts from Benson Buick. $2,002 cash back when you buy any new Buick from Benson. $2,002 cash back on Buick Century. $2,002 cash back on Buick Regal. $2,002 cash back on Buick LeSabre. Buick Park Avenue. Buick Rendezvous. Benson Buick will not be undersold. $2,002 cash back on any Buick. Now for a limited time only at Iowa's Buick Superstore. Benson Buick Des Moines. I'm Dr. Doug Parks from Parks Cosmetic Surgery. I've been doing liposculpturing for 16 years. I now do my finishing touches with the patient standing. This natural position leads to a more shapely result. If you're contemplating cosmetic surgery or breast surgery, we should talk. Soft Rock 98.3. The River. Little ditty about Jack and Diane. The home of the Bob and Tom Show. Every day's a no repeat day. The River. Listen now to Soft Rock 98.3. The River. This morning, I let Kingsdown check out my body. Because to really know if you're sleeping on the right mattress, you've got to let Kingsdown give your body the world's only dormo diagnostic test. Start profile. Now analyzing body. Profile complete. I've spent my last night sleeping on a mattress made for somebody else. Doctor I'm not somebody else. I'm me. Available at the Mattress Gallery on 100th Street between Hickman and Douglas. The U.S. Supreme Court will decide a dispute over one of Victoria's trade secrets. The owners of Victoria's Secret sued a man from Kentucky. Victor Mosley sells lingerie at his adults-only shop. Mosley calls his store Victor's Little Secret. Federal trademark law protects companies from new businesses who try to use a similar version of a famous brand name. Boy, Andy Garman just hates that video, doesn't he? It's terrible. Your family will have a new ride to add to the adventure at Adventureland coming up this year. The new water ride is called Sawmill Splash. Spinning rafts ride down twisting channels. The rides end with a splash in a reservoir filled with geysers. The park opens a week from Saturday. Boy, that does mean summer's here. Bring it on. No Ventureland's opening Adventure up. Ventureland's open. Keep it up into the 80s the rest of the summer. Sure, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it looks like we'll be back there for tomorrow. Uh, temperatures warming up to about 85. We do have a, a decent chance of seeing some strong thunderstorms tomorrow night, however, and a cool down towards the end of the week. But in the meantime, another day to get out there and enjoy a little peak of summer before it's gone. I'm going to put you on the spot. Severe, like Roger. between 1 and 10, 10 being the most severe. Well, it looks like the biggest threat is to our north and west, okay. but uh, we'll definitely see some thunderstorms roll through tomorrow night. All right. You'll be here watching it. That's right. All right. We're out of time tonight for this edition of Fox 17 News at 9. For Ryan Burchett and Andy Garman, I'm Tiffany O'Donnell. We hope to see you right back here again tomorrow night for Fox 17 News at 9. Good night. Salon services for Fox 17 News at 9 provided by Rick Mosley Hair. Closed captioning for the hearing impaired is provided by Medicap Pharmacy.